Yo guys, it is Chrono Fury and Optifine has just been released for Minecraft version 1.16 or 1.16.1. So I'll be showing you guys how to install Optifine in this quick tutorial. And in the later half of the video, I'll be showing you guys the best settings to improve your FPS through Optifine as well. So don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel because I upload Minecraft videos here on a regular basis. And let's get started with the tutorial. So the first thing you want to do is you want to head to Optifine.net. Link is down in the video description. You want to click Downloads and you want to click Preview Versions. And as you can see, there's an Optifine 1.16.1 here. So you want to go ahead and download that. Now, if there are late, if there are newer versions of this, then of course you want to download the latest version as long as it says Optifine 1.16.1. So you just click Download and there's this uh, Add link here. So you just have to wait a couple of seconds and click skip and just click download. So next you want to go ahead and keep this jar file. I mean, it's definitely safe since you're downloading from the official Optifine website and you want to click to open this jar file and you should be led to this screen. Now, if you guys do not see this screen, if you guys are seeing something else, like for example, uh, opening the jar file actually launches like WinRAR or, and like folders and all that, you should not be seeing that. Now, if you are seeing that, what you want to do is you want to go to your downloads, right? Where you have downloaded it. You want to right click open with Java. So you want to make sure that you're opening the file with Java and not with WinRAR. So what you want to do here is really simple. You just need to click install and just wait a couple of seconds. And it says Optifine has been successfully installed and it's that simple. Now what you need to do is you need to just launch your Minecraft client. So open the launcher and there will be an Optifine uh, profile here that you can select. So just make sure you have that selected for 1.16.1 and just hit play. So as you guys can see, I'm here in my single player world and I do have Optifine installed successfully. And you can see that at the bottom left hand corner, it says Optifine HD uh, Pre Ultra and the bottom right hand corner, it says Minecraft 1.16.1. So you should be seeing something like this. And if you have so many different settings here, this means that you have Optifine successfully installed. Now, what are the best settings? Because as you know, Optifine is a mod that helps to increase your FPS in Minecraft and reduce lag. So I'm going to show you guys right now what are the best settings to improve your FPS here in Minecraft because that's what Optifine does, right? You need, it gives you a plethora of options for you to select and you can modify these options to help to increase your FPS and reduce lag in Minecraft. So here for visual quality, you have fast, fancy, and fabulous. Now, I would highly recommend fast, but uh, if your computer can handle it, you can definitely go for fancy. Now, I have a pretty good graphics card here on this computer, which is why I am going for fancy. But again, if you are experiencing, even after installing Optifine, if you are experiencing FPS of below 30, then I would highly recommend you switch to fast instead. As for render distance here, I would highly recommend uh, 12 as your render distance. Now, you can go 8, right? 8 is basically normal. Okay, and I definitely do not recommend you go tiny unless your computer is like really bad. But really, you shouldn't go tiny because you, as you can see, you can't really see, you can't really see much, right? Things are still loading. So you really want to have a decent render distance, um, something that you can compromise with here. So you want a decent render distance, but at the same time, you don't want it to be too high because it will make your Minecraft client laggy, right? So I recommend just going for eight chunks. Uh, I think that's reasonable. You are able to see far enough into the distance. And the next option here is smooth lighting. And you want to go ahead and turn that off if you want to increase your FPS here in Minecraft. Uh, that will help a lot. As for VBoss, you want to turn it on. Uh, this one is self-explanatory actually because there's a description here. VBoss basically uses an alternative rendering model which is faster than the default rendering. So you want to turn on VBoss. But again, if you're experiencing any crashing issues when you have VBoss on, then of course you want to go ahead and turn that off. But if you are not experiencing any issues, then I suggest you leave it on because it will help to render your Minecraft world faster. Now, brightness is uh, doesn't do anything for your FPS. Um, this doesn't. Dynamic lights, you want to go ahead and switch it off. This will again help with your FPS. So next thing you want to do is uh, go to this quality menu here. And these things generally you don't want to touch except for this one, which makes the most difference, connected textures. You can either turn this off which you can see there'll be a loading screen when you when you modify it. So if you want to maximize your FPS, you want to turn this uh, setting off. And for these ones, generally, it doesn't really affect FPS all that much. So the next thing you want to do is head into details. Now, this one makes a big difference on your FPS. 
you want to go ahead and turn clouds off unless you really like the look of clouds. If you do like the look of clouds, then you can compromise by going to fast, right? It's a reasonable option. It's of a low quality, but it's still fast at the very least. But if you don't care about clouds, then just go ahead and turn, turn it off because it will have the best benefit for your FPS. So for the tree setting, I would highly recommend you go with smart because if you go with fast here, yes, it makes the most difference with your FPS, but the trees look horrible, guys. They, they look really ugly. So if you care about the appearance of trees and you still care about your FPS at the same time, then I think a good compromise is smart because it's uh, better than default at the very least. And at least you can see some uh, nice outline of the leaves here. Uh, turning the sky on or off doesn't affect FPS that much. Same thing with stars, sun and moon. Uh, fog, I would highly recommend turning off because it will definitely help to improve your FPS. Uh, and yeah, fog is just really not really nice. At least in my opinion, I don't really like the look of fog in Minecraft. So you would just turn that off most of the time. And for these uh, settings, again, you generally don't want to touch. Now you can touch the biome blend here. Um, but I would just recommend leaving this as 5x5 five five because there's a nice uh, transition between the biomes. So that's what this uh, biome blend is. I would just recommend it leaving as the default setting. And another uh, menu here is performance. Now you want to turn smooth FPS on. This is pretty important actually because uh, it helps to stabilize your FPS so you don't get crazy fluctuations. Like all of a sudden you are, you are playing with like 50 FPS and then suddenly you have like 10 FPS. So the smooth FPS helps to, as the name implies, smooth out the FPS. So I will highly recommend turning that on. For smooth world, yes, you want to turn it on as well because again, it's all about FPS stabilization. You want to ensure that you are above 30 FPS at all times so that you don't see any lag. Now for this uh, fast render option, you just want to make sure that it's off. Uh, you don't want to turn it on. I mean, you can turn it on and it definitely does help. The reason why I have it off because uh, it actually conflicts with shaders. So if you guys plan to use shaders with uh, Optifine, then you can't turn this on because you, if you see, if you turn this on, you click shaders, it says it's not compatible with fast render. So that's why I have it switched off. But if you don't plan to use any shaders, then you definitely want to switch this on. Fast math, you want to leave it on. Uh, dynamic updates, lazy chunk loading, all of them switch on. Uh, smart animations, you want to leave it on because this uh, helps to animate the textures which are only visible on the screen. And last but not least, we have the animations uh, setting here. Now for the best improvement to your FPS, you want to go ahead and switch everything off. That will be the best for sure. Um, but some of these uh, effects are pretty important. For example, like potion particles, you might want to be able to see that because uh, you're playing PvP on Hypixel, let's say, right? And hence potions are really important. So depending on uh, what you care and what you don't care about, you want to go ahead and switch those settings off. So for example, if you don't care about rain splash, go ahead and switch that off. Of course, the best improvement to your FPS would be if you were to switch everything off. And here, uh, for particles, you just want to set to decrease. I think this is a good compromise. Uh, if you set it to minimal, you can hardly see any particles at all. So I think the best uh, would be to set it to decrease. And that's pretty much it for this tutorial. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to drop a like. Uh, it helps more people see and benefit from this tutorial. And consider subscribing to my Minecraft channel here as well because I upload Minecraft videos on a regular basis. Aside from tutorials like this, I also upload fun Minecraft PvP content where I just like play Bit Wars and uh, Boo Wars and a whole bunch of other Minecraft mini games. So if you guys are interested in that, be sure to subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave it down in the comment section down below and I'll try to respond as soon as I can. Thank you and bye.